Hey everyone, you're watching Gizmo Box channel. Today I would like to show you how to run Fallout 1 on your iPad or iPhone, whatever Apple device you have. Um, so to do that, you would need first to make a jailbreak of your iPad or iPhone. And once you did this, you would need to install two apps. One is called iOS and one is called iFile. So once you did this, um, you would need to launch the iOS application for the first time. It will create a special file with which we need to change later on. So once you open it, you can close it down, and then you would need to actually to change the file dospart.cfg, which is a config file for the iDOS. Please also see the description on how to do that. And once you did this, you would need to actually upload the Fallout folder on your device. A special problem co program called iTools. Again, see the description on how to do that. Once you did this, you would need to open an iFile. You'd need to hit Applications here. You'd need actually to find the folder of your iDOS application, which in my case is this one. Um, as you can see, there is a folder called Documents here. If we open this folder, there is a two files. One is called DOSPack CFG, and another there is a folder called Fallout one. So. Um, what we need to do is actually give uh, read write permissions, read write and execute permissions to this folder fallout. So to do this, we actually hit this uh, blue arrow here next to the fallout folder, and then we need to actually hit the apply, apply hierarchy here, and then we need to give the permission in these three positions to write, read, and execute. So we hit this three points here for all the three positions. And once you did this, you would actually need to hit anywhere. It will apply the changes here, and that's it. You can now close iFile and open iDOS to launch the game itself, actually. So to do this, you will hit this button C here, and we're in a common prompt now, so now we type dir and you can see there's a folder called Fallout here. Now we actually need to type CD space Fallout. Now we're in a Fallout folder, as you can see here. And now we need just to type Fallout to actually launch the game itself. Once we type this, the game is started to run. Now all we need to do is wait. And while it's loading, actually, I will tell you about a few options here. So as you can see, there is a small panel up here. So it will allow you to actually open the keyboard or the mouse. If you open the mouse, there is a two buttons here for the mouse, for right mouse click and left mouse click. And you control the mouse using your screen as a big touchpad. So we don't have sound, because without sound it actually runs more smoother than with the sound. So we will skip the movies here, just to go straight to the menu. Okay, we're in a menu now. Uh, sorry for the Russian language here. Uh, it's a Russian version of the game. So uh, now we can hit actually the new game or load some game. Let's load some game okay so let's load the save game here for example this one so as you can see I'm using the screen as a giant touchpad to control the mouse So it's not loading up. Okay. 
You can actually start a new game if you want. Well, the game itself is actually pretty stable, but it has some lag inside the game itself. I will show it to you right now. So it loaded up. And as you can see, I can now control the camera here as usual in the Fallout game and I can move my character and do all the kind of stuff I can do in the original game so as you can see it have a little bit of a lag here but it's still pretty much playable and because it's a turn based game it's actually playable so you can play Fallout 1 on your iPad or iPhone ok guys thanks for watching um, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel I'll be uploading more game old games videos on my channel so please subscribe and See you next time. Thanks.